Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three altcoins to buy right now, potentially on the dip. So in the past 24 hours, the market is down about 2% here. Our top gainer in the past 24 hours is going to be Gods Unchained, which is up about 31%. Currently, this coin is trading at around $7.78. As you guys can see, right now it's making a little bit of a move here in the past week, about 45% or so. In the past month, 70%, and then on the one-year chart, about 54%. But market cap is only at 183 million, so it is a very, very small cap coin. Uh, it's on the you know top gainer chart right now. We'll see where it is in the future. Highest volume is going to be Bitcoin at 30.6 billion. Second is going to be 25.7 billion coming in at Ethereum. Bitcoin's down about two and a half percent. Ethereum's down five percent. So Bitcoin's at 48,000. Ethereum is at 4,000. So big move down. We see all you know altcoins are down five percent, seven percent, eight percent here on Solana. Solana now trading at one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. If it continues to go even lower, this is going to be a great opportunity for investors to buy the dip on this one as well. We see other coins down here like Luna, which are down about eleven percent or so. Meme coins, Doge is down three percent. Avalanche eight percent. Shiba Inu five percent. Polygon seven percent. And then we have some more losers down here as well. But we also have a green coin here near protocol is up about 9% or so. So there is an outlier always. Dogecoin to meme, obviously 17 cents, guys. This one continues to go down lower and lower. Huge downtrend on Doge in the past uh, few months. So definitely a downward trend that we're seeing right there with that one as well. Now, guys, before we get into this content, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. We're going to be doing a giveaway in the month of December. So, you know, for a chance to get into this giveaway, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. Then subscribe to the channel, like we said, and leave a comment below letting me know which cryptocurrencies are you buying right now for a chance to get picked. So I will be picking one winner from the comments below. Now let's get into it, guys. The first uh, altcoin is going to be the Sandbox coin right here. So the Sandbox is going to be one of the Metaverse plays. And obviously the Metaverse is a huge thing right now that everybody is, you know, talking about. So obviously the hype has died down pretty much a little bit in the past few, uh, you know, uh, weeks, I guess you could say. So in the past 24 hours, it's down about 5%, trading at $5.02. In the past week, we're down 16% past month. Uh, you know, from the high of right here that we saw at 850, so from 850 to five dollars, that is about a three and a half dollar drop. Uh, I, I would say about a 40 percent drop here from the high to the low, but still on the one month chart, we're up 118 percent. You know, and then on the one year chart, we're up 10,957 percent, which is just insane to think about. I mean, this one was trading at 0 0.0482 and you know, went to highs of over eight dollars at one point, which is an insane return. In a short, you know, period of time. So, currently, 4.5 billion market cap on uh, Sandbox. So, very low down here with the market cap. You know, it was trading at a close to about a eight or nine billion market cap, and that continues to grow. Now, obviously, the same pattern that we're seeing in the Sandbox, we're seeing the same pattern in Decentraland and some of the other altcoins as well. They're doing the same type of situation. They're having a little bit of a pullback. If we actually take a look down here. We'll see that, you know, Mana is making the same move. So all of these, uh, you know, Metaverse coins are kind of in the same group here, as we can say, I guess, in the same uh, field. So they're all kind of a dip buying opportunity. As you can see, Decentraland was hitting highs of almost $6, and now it's at $3.36. So pretty much the same pattern here, making a pullback in the past few weeks here. And this could be an opportunity to buy if it continues to go lower and lower, because in my opinion, the metaverse is going to be something that's going to be huge in the next 5, 10, 15 years. And, you know, buying the dip right now could be uh, an opportunity to do a 10x, 20x, 50x opportunity for the future um, on this coin. So definitely something we're going to be watching very closely. And if it continues to dip, we could be dollar cost averaging into this coin uh, very easily. So. Let me know let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the sandbox and the whole metaverse situation are you buying a dip on the metaverse or not right now now before we get into the second coin let's take a look at the crypto bubbles guys so finally i feel like you know we've been making this uh you know video right here about the crypto coins and we have not seen any green really in the past uh you know month or so in the past month everything's been kind of like red as you can see but we're finally seeing some green here but we're also seeing some weird green coins here so let's take a look here dusk network is up 52 percent or so we have here flux is up to about 36 percent we have a uh, measurable data up 40 percent or so some other coins here like zeno token is up about 17 percent near protocol is up about 42 percent 
and some other ones that are here in the green as well. Some of them, like uh, I see some soccer clubs here. FC Porto fan up 34%. Lazio is up about uh, 66%. So those are two weird coins that I'm seeing on here. But there's a lot more green than we were seeing just about you know a few days ago. And that's a good sign. We're finally seeing some green and less red, which is a positive sign. Now, the second old coin on this list is going to be Algorand. So Algorand, Algo... This one right here in the past 24 hours is down about 7% actually, trading at $1.49. In the past week, uh, Algo is up or uh, down about 14%. In the past month, it's down 23%. So Algorand was trading at around $0.29 cents last December, went up the highs here in February at around $1.72. Went back down lower here, and then obviously the market sold off. We went to lows of down here about seventy cents, and then from that seventy cents area, we see a new high here at two eighty two on November seventeenth. So it broke through the all time highs right there, and then pulled back down again with the market. Still up four hundred fifteen percent in the one year chart, which is great. About a four x opportunity there. Nine point four billion in the market cap. Volume is pretty much flat here, as we can say. Typical hold time is going to be forty seven days. It is ranked the number 16 coin on the chart, 79% buy activity, 21% sell activity. Now, Algorand is a cryptocurrency and blockchain protocol that aims to be simultaneously scalable, secure, and decentralized. It uses a consensus algorithm called the pure proof of stake. Now, Algorand nodes reach consensus about what should appear in a blockchain through a process called PPOS, which, is, uh, which uses a staking system which is a you know, great thing. So to verify new transactions and produce new crypto tokens, now Algorand, uh, Algorand Network participates also are able to stake some of their algo in exchange for the chance to be randomly selected to propose a new block of verified transactions. Now the winner is also rewarded more algo, which is a positive thing. Something to keep in mind with the Algorand is uh, PPOS systems like Algorands are more efficient than pure uh, proof of work blockchains like Bitcoin in terms of electricity consumption. Because they don't rely on thousands of miners spending energy to solve cryptographic puzzles for the chance to win a block reward and earn transaction fees. So definitely a coin we're going to be watching very closely, especially on more dip buying opportunities. It's kind of at like a support level that we're seeing right now. If it breaks through this level right here that we're trading at and goes below, let's say about a dollar and 30 cents, then it could could continue possibly to go lower and lower to about a dollar and 10 cents before hitting the next support level, in my opinion. So that's going to be our second coin. And then our third coin is going to be LTC, also known as Litecoin, one of the OG coins, guys. So this one right here, uh, one of the more stable coins, I guess you could say. It, it's not, you know, fluctuating up and down very quickly. It's been kind of stable. Here in the past uh, 24 hours, it's down 1.5%. In the past week, 16%. Past month, we're actually down 40% on this one. That's why it's a great opportunity, in my opinion, from $282 to $156 right now. So those were the highs that we saw here in November. But previously, we saw this one in December trading at about $80 and then hit highs in January, hit highs again in February, and then hit highs again in April and May. In May, we reached about $420, I believe, which is actually the previous high that we saw. And then from that 420 area, we went all the way down to lows of about $100, about a you know 75% drop uh, with the market. And then we came back up to you know high 200s right here. So about, a, let's just say, about 170% upside potential that we saw there to the highs. And now we're pulling back. Now, as long as we stay above this $100 level, we're going to be okay. If it goes a hundred, uh, you know, below $100, we could you know continue to go lower and lower. Now, currently 10.8 billion market cap, 1.3 billion in volume, 70% buy activity, 30% sell activity. It is ranked at number 14 coin and it has 92% uh, you know, uh, 92 day activity right there or hold time. Now, Litecoin is a cryptocurrency that uses a faster payment confirmation schedule and a different cryptographic algorithm than Bitcoin. How does all this work? Well, as a fork of Bitcoin, Litecoin did not aim to change the fundamental logic or architecture. Being nearly identical to Bitcoin in terms of use and design, but with a reduced transaction confirmation time and most, uh, you know, much lower cost, as much as 50 times lower, depending on the market conditions. Something to keep in mind is Litecoin's speed and relatively low fees make it uh, appealing as a payment method or option and uh, means of transferring value. But the network has significantly fewer miners than Bitcoin, which has negative effects in terms of overall network security. But also, I know a lot of people that personally mine Litecoin because of this reason as well. And, you know, it's more stable coin compared to some of these other coins and, you know, a lot better in my opinion. So Litecoin, definitely a coin to be adding to the radar, see what's going to happen in the future and how it's going to perform, guys. So those are the three altcoins we're going to be talking about. Let's take a look at the rest of the market now and see how everything else is performing. So first of all, we'll talk about Bitcoin, which is down about 2.5% or so, trading at 48000 
in the past week we're down about 10 percent in the past month we're down 25 percent so we've been you know trading in this range here for about two weeks now in the past year we're up 167 percent uh you know which is good obviously but we could go lower. If we continue to go lower, I would not be surprised to see this one go all the way down to about 42,000 before hitting a nice little support and then 37,000 after that. We're going to be watching very closely to see if that's going to happen. 914 billion here, 32% uh, of the crypto market space. Uh, volume is flat at 30.8 billion. Typical hold time is going to be 75 days, 76% buy activity, 24% sell activity still. Then we have Ethereum, which is down about 5% here. In the past week, this one's down 5%. In the past month, we're down 13%. And then on the one-year chart, obviously, we're up 637%. Now, we talked about in the previous video that if it goes under 4,000, it could be a you know, good opportunity to buy the dip because it usually bounces right back up. But if we go below 3,700, that could be another even better buying opportunity. And obviously, anything lower than that, uh, it's just a you know, dip buying opportunity for long term. Now, 474.8 billion market cap, 17% of crypto market space. Volume is flat at 25.7 billion. 82% buy activity, 18% sell activity on this one, and obviously 70-day uh, typical hold time. Now, let's take a look at another one down here, like Solana. Like we said, trading at 168 right now. We have Doge the mean, which is trading at 17 cents. It continues to go lower and lower here. Downward trend. Uh, you know, If we continue to go lower, guys, I, I feel really bad for any Dogecoin holders. This is why you guys should have taken profit when we were at the highs, because now it just continues to go lower and lower. Down 3% in the past 24 hours. Down 15% in the past week. 34% here in the past month, obviously. So downward trend. And, you know, I will be taking my profits on that one right there. So, guys, those are the three altcoins we're going to be talking about in this video. If you guys, guys enjoyed this type of content, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. As always, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes only. So, before investing, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're getting into. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.